It just turns out that Dennis, our 127th exoneree from Massachusetts, was coming into town today. So for we, her birthday. For my birthday. So we thought, wow, what a better lunchtime treat than to have uh, to hear a real exoneree tell his story. I know there are other innocent people in the prison systems around the country. Well, you look, you just say 1% of all the people in prison are innocent. That's going to be 20,000 people. That's a lot of people. When I was found guilty, the judge asked me, he said, uh, Mr. Mayor, do you have anything to say? And I said, yes, Your Honor. He said, if um, you think this is justice, I think you and your whole judicial system are a crock of shit. And he doubled my sentence. In November of 1983, I was arrested and charged with attempted rape, rape, assault and battery with a dangerous weapon. I was a soldier in the U.S. Army. Well, I was um, walking down the street in Lowell, Mass. The cops just pulled up and stopped me. Then they searched me and arrested me for possession of marijuana. They questioned me, what time did you get home yesterday? Where were you? And finally I said, well, what are you questioning me about? Well, we have um, a woman who says you raped her and another woman who says you tried to rape her. By the time the lineups came around, I was already losing confidence in that it was gonna be proven innocent. And of course, I was right. At one point, I came to have peace with myself that I was going to die in prison, but I really never stopped filing stuff in court. And in 1993, I wrote the Innocence Project and asked them for help. Now I went like 16 years without a lawyer. You know, I did all this work by myself. And then I had a lawyer. So as you can imagine, it was a very emotional time. The biggest blow was in um, 1997 when the Innocence Project filed a motion for DNA testing and the judge denied it without a hearing. You know, so I was devastated from that. Well, I feel that everyone should have a right to DNA testing. If the evidence is there and they're willing to do it, they should have that right. It's not done in any, every state. My state is trying to get a, a bill passed. You know, I'm, I'm hoping to go testify in front of the legislature. You know, maybe me speaking will help them get on, get on the right page with, it, with everyone else. We are the innocents, and there are a lot more of us. You know, if we can spread the word through word of mouth, through word of TV, whatever. You know, but as long as the word is being spread, so that wrongful convictions can never happen again.